When you look to the mountains, you look to the oceans, you look to the stars, the moon, the sun, and you realize this cannot come by an accident. This has to be from somewhere. Ramadan Mubarak to all my Muslims out there. I appreciate you guys. Shout out my Nikita Bahidi. What's going on here at the family? I go by here after Oos. Before we take off, off, man, bring it back. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. Comment a video down below for me to react to it, not react to it. Right? Again, this video was requested by Anam and her user handle is right here. And um, request your videos in the comment section below or hit me up on Instagram, my DM. I'm watching these videos. We're going to get into this video. Let's get it. Do they like, you know, slaughter animals, you know, zibiha? Or do they Listen make up, uh, bombs, something? He said, no. <coughs> he said, they line up, saf, then they stand like this. He said, like a monk or priest when they worship in silence. He said they were silent, stood like this. She said, really? He said, then they bow, rukua, then sajda, then sitting, silent, not talking to each other, nothing, silent, the whole time, until, assalamu alaikum wa assalamu alaikum wa uh -huh. I said, then? Uh -huh. He said, they left. I said, what kind of music did they have? He said, they don't have any music. Said, what? How do you worship God with no music? I was a music minister. I'm wondering, how? No music? He said, no. No music. You don't need music. You don't need music. I got to know more about this. Well, I did. I learned a lot more about it. Do you know what happened next? It came my turn. I became very curious. So I began asking some hard questions to the Muslims. What do you say about this? What about so-and-so? I heard Muslims, you know, they do so and such. And every time I ask him a question, he smile, and he would tell me so many nice things. And I would think, huh, this is not the image I had in my mind. In fact, when I think about Isa, alayhi salam, what was his character like? How did he act? How did he treat people? How? And I said to myself, this man, this Muslim, is acting more like Jesus than the Christians. He never drinks wow. alcohol. He so never smokes lie. cigarettes. He never lies. He never cheats. He doesn't Chase wow. the women, if you know what I mean. No. In fact, when ladies come close, he puts his eyes down. I said, if Jesus was here, alayhi salam. Lower your gaze. You gotta lower your gaze. Dude, be like this man. This facts. I still <coughs> wondered, how can I get him to be a Christian? It was still in my mind. How can I get him to be a Christian? But all along, I was wishing I could be more like this man because he was at peace inside. No matter what wow. happened, if we have a flat tire on the road, he's at peace with it. It's alhamdulillah, qadrullah. Uh, I don't know what he meant. He said qadrullah, mashallah. Uh, I don't know what it meant. But he would say that and he would smile. If we ran out of gasoline, no fuel, alhamdulillah, qadrullah. If I didn't have uh -huh. the money to pay for something, qadrullah, mashallah. No matter what uh -huh. happened, he was okay. I'm wondering how. Beautiful. How can this Beautiful man character. be in such peace all the time? I wish I would be like that. You know, when I think about my friend, the Muslim, I almost laugh now to remember how patient he was with me. Because I would be telling him, you know, this and so and so, and come on and be a Christian. And he would smile. Finally, one day, he said to me, you know, I will go to your religion if your religion is better than my religion. But you need proof. 
proof? Well, we know in Islam that dalil is something very important. If somebody tells you anything, ana dalil yachi, right? But never in Christianity anybody said this to me. What is your proof? Proof? I even said to him, proof? Religion is not about <coughs> proof. It's about faith. All about faith. No proof. He said in Islam, mm -hmm. we have both. We have faith. But we have proof. Proof. And when he said that, it came in my mind. And I said to him, do you mean to sit there and tell me as a Muslim, you can prove there's God? <laughs> then he said to me, do you mean to sit there as a preacher for listen, Christians? Listen. And you can't? Uh, uh. <laughs> now what could I say? Because... I want to know what's his proof. Because I never thought about proof for anything. Just you hear somebody say it, you believe it. And they said in the Bible, it says so and so. You look and read and read. You never find it. Where does it say it? He said it. Okay, I believe it. No, in Islam, every single word you must be able to prove or you don't say it. Allah said, wow. Kala Allah wa Kala wow. Rasul. This is the haq of Islam. Kala Allah, the Quran, wa Kala Rasul, the Hadith, Sahih Hadith, Bukhari, Muslim. And when he would explain, my Muslim friend, he would explain Islam to me, he would tell me, in Quran, Allah said, and he would say the Arabiya. I don't know where Arabic. Zero, no Arabic. In those days, I didn't know one word. Not even salam alaikum. Nothing. But he would still recite the Quran in Arabic. And then he would say, more or less, the English could be like this. And he would tell me. And he would say, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Huakala, <coughs> he said, for instance, Khairukum manta alama al Quran wa alama. And this in English, he would say, would mean the best of you are those who learn, learn the Quran. And then you teach the Quran. So he would give me the Arabic, he would give me the English. Sometimes, listen to this, sometimes. He would recite the Quran quickly. Quickly. Like for instance, he might say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, call who Allahu Ahad Allahu Samat. I'd say, No, 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 stop. He said, Why? He said, Go slow. He said, Why? I said, I like to listen to it. He said, But you don't know it. I said, But I like it. And sometime when he would recite, I would feel like I want to cry. I don't know why. Like when he would recite, Audu Billahi Mini Shaitani Rajim. Allahu la ilaha illahu al hayyu qayyum la ta'khudhu sinatun wa la naum lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard man dhaladi yashfa'u indahu illa bi idni yalamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khafahum wallahi yuhituna bi shay'in min ilmihi illa bi mishra' من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء 
وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم. When he got to this part, when he said وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض, I think this why I told him no no oh slow slow what is this what is this? And he explained about the curse of Allah, the arsh of Allah, so much details. And I'm thinking, oh, this man knows more about his religion as a geologist than I do as a preacher. How come the preachers of Christianity don't know about Christianity as much as some Muslims? Some Muslims know more about Christianity than some of the Christian preachers. And especially, how come nobody knows about Islam in the West. Nobody. Yet it's the most beautiful, logical way to explain the haq, the proof, la ilaha illallah. When you look to the mountains, you look to the oceans, you look to the stars, the moon, the sun, and you realize this cannot come by an accident. This has to be from somewhere. Where did you come from? Where did you get your brains? Who takes care of you every day? Who wakes you up? Who lets you go to sleep? Who gave you life? Who replaces the skin when you get hurt? Who is doing this? Anybody could say God does it. But not anybody has the proof of the Quran and the Sunnah, which clearly shows these proofs again and again. 